been making other flowers and bits and pieces for projects coming up uh, and so I've made this one and what I've done is I've used ribbon to make this um, these make flat ones if you're using uh, like gross grain ribbon or something like that and um, they're all right but they're not shabby enough or fancy enough for me but doing them with ribbon with um, this organza ribbon um, you can actually get a twist in it and I love the way it swirls that one cut a strip fold it in half sew it along a long strip sorry along the edges putting the two edges together and then you gather it up and you twirl it you should turn it round and turn it round roll it in and roll it in until you've got that popper bead in the middle again this is done like this one where you fold it backwards like that uh, same as that one and I used the same type in this one and then just added um, a little bit of gathered satin ribbon and these and these are easy to make so I'm going to show you how to do those very very simple to make so um, you take hold of your this is seam binding and we do sell it in the shop in lots of colours about eight nine colours all I do is I glue a little bit on one end and turn that end in like that then I glue that end and push that in like that I'll just snip that to make it clean edge um, take hold of your bead I'm using these large uh, rice beads at the moment make great uh, decorations pop that on flatten it down take another one on the other side and you glue them together do it with any kind of bead any kind of bead and you've got yourself some decorations to hang wherever you want and they're great fun to make and that's it that's all you do um, I did add some to the cushion I did and uh, sold yesterday under the flower so like I say very very easy to do and uh, yeah really easy shall I make one of them which is same as these no I like these actually I absolutely love these so I'm just going to show you how I make them and what I like them about them is like I said they're not flat like that they do curl eventually so I'm just going to take your ribbon fold it down straight down roll it in I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on mine um, just to hold it in like that a lot of people use a needle and thread I don't want to uh, that way seal that take your ribbon and fold it and then roll it at the same time roll it again and then fold it again but then what I do touch your glue on there and roll it in like that and just sorry I'm going wrong there and just keep doing it like that sorry just a touch of glue because you're rolling it in like that again fold it touch your glue glue it down roll it in f fold it again okay and just keep going you need the smallest amount of glue on like that so and then I just do that and just start gluing that in Sorry, I can't get my th th thumb, uh, blah, blah, my thumb and finger working. All right, you do. It is organza. You do have to be careful. My fingers are so used to it. Cock glue. It's um, the only time it burns me is if it touches an area. It's uh, not touched for a while. <laughs> like that. Just keep going round and round. 
I kind of like manipulate using these fingers mainly see now I'm starting to curl it myself to be honest put that where I want that again just curl it round I'm sticking that underneath I'm just going to cut some of this because I don't want all of this on it's just easier to manage and like I say I like the uh, the way I've done mine because I've done it in a slightly different although this is what people do look I'm starting to curl mine I'm actually manipulating mine into a curl into a swirl or whatever you want to call it and that's because I'm not pulling it tight and I'm not flaying it flat I'm just easing it in to where I want it see a lot of people are pulling them tight or laying them flat and I don't want to do that I like that bend and twist in mine see I've just done that um, it just makes it a little bit more shabby or elegant looking whichever you want to call it and I'm not laying it right in the edge like these are laid by the edge I'm actually loosening mine and bringing it out a little bit see and you can see the flower develop look so I'm doing it use you know You can actually go back when you've done it and tie any oddments in if you want but I like the swirl that it makes see I'm you people pull it and tie it like that I don't want to I'm just turning mine in and leaving a swirl so that um, I get that edge that I'm after and the bigger the flower gets the better the edge See, I've just made that swirl. I'm finished making the outside one. Yeah, that's about right size what I want. Another big swirl there, I think. And then we just pull that one in all together um, see now what I do is I then cut that oops been on the wrong side been on the wrong side <laughs> yeah and just seal that off in the middle and again like you say I've got a nice swirly one now if I want to fill it in I can you just pin it down a little bit like that but I absolutely love it I'm calling this my curly rose because I just love them like that I could maybe do one more leap or one more petal there like that but aren't they gorgeous yeah I like that uh, and then to pop 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 I'm just going to add a little pearl to mine, like that. Now they're gorgeous. And then if I really wanted to, I could add three of these just to jazz it up a little bit more. So I'm just going to 